a little talk on Halt and Arp here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to organize this a little better. So I'm going to present the talk concerning the person, a lot of what has happened to them and some history behind it. Uh, something I learned that wouldn't come intuitively to, you, to myself or to an outside observer is that when you use telescope time, especially when the big telescopes such as the Hale telescope, the 200 inch, and the 100 inch, I think that's called the Hooker telescope, when you have only two main telescopes and maybe a main telescope overseas, the time spent on it is very valuable because that's the only telescope that you can use and that's the only one that can provide a lot of the photographic plates when you take pictures of the stars. So a big thing that I didn't realize was the optimization of telescope time with the people that allowed you know, the astronomers to use that telescope. And optimization meaning they only would allow you to use a telescope if it contained ideas which they already believed. And this is a huge problem back in the day when everybody believed that the Big Bang was the universe that we lived in. Everybody had the Big Bang model as being the correct version. And if you wanted to use a telescope, it would subtract the telescope's optimal use from studying something that was different than Big Bang. So naturally, a lot of the large reflectors before 1970, the people that used them believed in the Big Bang universe. So they looked up through the telescope and that's that's what they saw. They didn't see anything else. There, there was no alternative interpretations. Um, a lot of the people who had the access to these big telescopes before 1970 were of the names Keeler, Curtis, Bade, Bade, I think, B-A-A-D-E, Hubble, sort of, May Mayall, M-A-Y-A-L-L, Humison, De Vaculers, Vermontasov, Vel Velyamanov, uh, I have to look those people up. I've never heard of those people before. Maybe they were overseas. As well as um, a few others. And something that stuck out to me with use of the big telescopes is when they started using, I think, the 200-inch, I believe it was. Well, Hubble was using it, but his janitor, who by the name of Humison, was became one of the assistants for using the telescope. And started working directly with Hubble on his observations. And Humison didn't even have a high school diploma. He dropped out of school when he was 14. So it was unprecedented at the time for somebody to be working with a very large expensive telescope and he didn't even have a PhD or even a high school diploma. So think about that one. He was in the right place at the right time and showed initiative and they got to use the big boy telescopes. But, uh, yeah, that's what happened to Alton Arp. A lot of the main telescopes were populated by people who believed in the Big Bang universe. So, optimization time was, uh, telescope observation was dominated by people who believed in the Big Bang. So, if there's anybody else that stepped out of those bounds, they thought they were wasting telescope time and thus wasting money and energy. But I thought I'd point that out because it's something that, uh, you know, people wouldn't see if they were just were outside observers to this. Nowadays, we have a whole bunch of telescopes that we use, and observation time is becoming unlimited, which is really cool. Except for the really ex big expensive ones like the Hubble Space Telescope and Obviously, the James Webb Space Telescope, which is going up in 2018, I believe. Anyways, uh, today is July 3rd, 2015.